everyone, I am Kremlin here for the Techies and today I'm going to show you some uh, applications of stuff that you can do in Inkscape or really any graphics program. But what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make a repeating background for a website. So this is a technique that um, you will see a lot around the internet and you may not notice that it's there but I'm going to point it out. So here is uh, the techies.com. Um, you'll notice that the background is repeating. There's like a gradient there and some ones and zeros. And um, what I do there is we have a single very long um, image and then we repeat it in the Y direction. Um, and so we're going to be making something like that very quickly and I'm going to show you how to format that in uh, HTML and CSS to make that happen. So, uh, first of all, um, all right, we're going to need a screenshot of our page here, so let me get that really quick, and then I can paste that right into here, and that looks horrible, why? Um, let me do that again, sorry. Paste. Um, okay, I don't know why it does that, I guess it's the recording software or something. But we don't really need it. All we need is this part right here, which turned out fine. Um, we just need it for the width, anyway. So, first thing we need to do is get some rectangles going. Um, and I'm going to have... We're going to do this approximately and even zoom in all the way to see all the pixels and stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to get a rectangle like that. And it's going to go like so. And we're going to do this only on one side first, and then we'll mirror it onto the other side um, so that we don't have to change both at once. So, I don't really know what I'm going to go he for here. I'll make it, um, sh I don't know, orange. So, we are going to make this dark orange. And I'm going to have a border here, and yeah, there we go. And now... Um, we're going to duplicate this a whole bunch, uh, maybe make this one a bit skinnier, and whoops, duplicate that again, and uh, to move it in a straight line, you can hold control, and then uh, move it like that so it snaps, um, and then this one will make wide, and then I'm going to change this these up a bit, a bit later, um, but you'll see, and duplicate that. Do, do, do. All right, and last one, we're going to have it be covering the rest of the screen, or most of it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and change this one too. I'm going to make this, this kind of thing going on here. And um, with gradients, you can also hold control so that it snaps to um, some angles. And... Right... Let me edit this really quick. Mm, here, let me. All right. This will be white, so that it blends into the automatic background. And this we can make a bit darker. Um, let's go with something like that. And this will also be a gradient because I like gradients. Mm, okay, that looks fine. And then we can edit this also. I don't know, let's make this go to yellow or something. There you go. Um, it won't look pretty, but it'll be there. And this one, why not make this one darker also? Alright, so now that we have this, it'll be like um, this and then all the way down. Um, but the thing is, to minimize the amount of images that the user has to load, it doesn't matter what width this is, as long as it's one pixel. So I'm going to select everything that I have that I have here, and I'm going to shrink it down to where it's about one pixel. And that looks about one pixelish, I think, maybe a bit, bit, bit like that. Mm, yeah. All right. Cool. And so now we just need to mirror this over. And I'll do that. Um, how do I do that? Duplicate. And then we can move this over here. Then I can 
mirror it with that button right there and we'll bring it all the way over to this side where it'll line up with the other end of the web page like ah come on like so all right cool now we just need to delete this and there's our image it's really skinny and long uh, <laughs> sorry about that anyway so now we're going to just export it and I'm gonna put it on my desktop desktop um, I don't know back dot PNG because PNG is good and then we'll do that okay cool now in our file which I have right here and this is the file that is open right now you see it's blank um, we are going to put some style in so style is um, if you watched my previous CSS tutorials you'll see that it's like being able to embed CSS into your documents so um, what we're gonna do is do background colon URL then in parentheses you're gonna type in your URL so I should just be able to do that boom alright there we go check that out that actually doesn't look half bad um, and then we can put all sorts of content in the inside of it um, and it doesn't use up a whole lot of bandwidth or memory space or whatnot it takes not a long time to load because it's only like one pixel wide, one pixel tall I should say um, so there it is that is it folks um, hope you learned something this is a great technique to use on all sorts of sites um, so yeah thank you for watching this has been Kremlin for the techies and please visit th3techies.com if nothing else you'll be able to see this technique in action uh, so alright bye